Hi friends, again welcome back to my channel Mugambiga Nursing. Friends, here we are discussing important and previous year questions for nursing officer exam. Already we completed 11 part. If you are watching first time, kindly go through my previous videos. The questions will helpful for your exam preparation, also boost your knowledge. If these questions are useful for your studies, don't forget to share my videos to your friend circle. Let's start our today's question. First question. The first school of nursing was established by options. Option A. Virginia Henderson. Option B. Florence Nightingale. Option C. Theodore Flinner. Option D. Isabel Hampton. Our question is who established the first school of nursing? Here we can see in 1836, Pastor Theodore Flinner established the school for nursing in Germany. It was one of the first formally established school of nursing in the world. So, the first formally established school of nursing was started by Theodor Flenner in Germany in the year 1836. Then, Florence Nightingale established St. Thomas Hospital and the Nightingale Training School for Nurses in 1860. This is also one of the important question. Here, our correct answer is option C, Theodor Flenner. On to the next question. Florence Nightingale was born on options. Option A May 12th, 1820. Option B April 7th, 1820. Option C May 12th, 1832. Option D June 7th, 1842. Florence Nightingale was born on May 12th, 1820. Option A is the correct answer and our nurse's day is May 12th. Move on to the next question. Hemorrhage with collection of blood in the soft tissue is called options. Option A. Condition. Option B. Achymosis. Option C. Purpura. Option D. Hematoma. Hemorrhage or bleeding. So, it is blood related. Hemorrhage with collection of blood in the soft tissue is known as hematoma. Option D is the correct answer. Move on to the next question. Which of the following is a substance that decreases pain transmission and cause an inflammatory response? Our options option A substance B, option B prostaglandin, option C endorphin, option D histamine. Our question is substance which decreases pain transmission and sometimes it can cause inflammatory response is by endorphin. Option C is the correct answer. Endorphin are a kind of neurotransmitter which is produced by hypothalamus and pituitary. Endorphins are a kind of natural or body's painkiller. Okay, it can able to, it can reduce the pain. Okay, so this is a substance that decreases pain transmission by endorphin. Move on to the next question. Thick yellow drainage from the wound is known as options. Option A, sanguineous. Option B, serous. Option C, zero sanguineous. Option D, purulent. Question is thick yellow drainage. Thick yellow drainage indicate wound is infected. Once the wound is infected means there may be chance of release of pus. That is thick yellow drainage. That is known as purulent. Option D is the correct answer. And the next question is drug used for rare disease are known as options. Option A often drugs. Option B rare drugs. Option C over the counter drugs. Option D emergency drugs. And the correct answer is often drug. Option A is the correct answer drug which is used for rare disease or uncommon diseases. And the next question is fourth cranial nerve is options. Option A trigeminal, option B trochlear, option C abduction, option D facial. Fourth cranial nerve. Let's see the cranial nerve. First is olfactory, second is optic. Third is oculomotor nerve, fourth is trochlear, fifth is trigeminal, sixth is abduction, seventh is facial, eighth is vestibulocochlear, ninth is glossopharyngeal, tenth is vagus, eleventh is accessory, and twelfth is hypoglossal nerve. Our question fourth cranial nerve is trochlear nerve. Option B is the correct answer. Move on to the next question. Chicken pox can sometimes be fatal to children who are receiving options. Option A antibiotics, option B anticonvalescent, option C insulin, option D steroids. Here the question is chicken pox can be 
Fatal. Fatal means very serious or dangerous to children. Those who are taking or those who are receiving steroids. Okay. Option D is the correct answer. Chicken pox. The causative organism of chicken pox is varicella zoster. Moving to the next question. Dengue infection is commonly transmitted by options. Option A. Culex fatigans. Option B. Aedes aegypti. Option C. Plasmodium. Option D. Salmonella. Dengue infection or dengue fever is caused by Aedes aegypti mosquito. Option B is the correct answer. And the next question is. First census in India was taken in the year. Options. Option A. 1871. Option B. 1890. Option C. 1881. Option D. 1980. The first census in India was taken in the year 1881. Okay, option C is the correct answer. Regular census in India are held every 10 years. Okay, once in every 10 years. And the next question is SSP, that is subacute sclerosing panencephalitis. Is a complication occurs from which disease? Options, option A measles, option B chicken pox, option C rubella, option D dengue. Subacute sclerosing panencephalitis is one of the complications of measles. Option A is the correct answer. Move on to the next question. When a client is receiving a cephalosporin, the nurse should monitor the client for which finding? Are options. Option A. Drug induced hemolytic anemia. Option B. Purpura. Option C. Infectious emboli. Option D. Echimosis. Here the question is a patient or a client is getting cephalosporin. Cephalosporin is a broad spectrum antibiotics. So once the patient is getting cephalosporin means the nurse should monitor drug induced hemolytic anemia. She should check the blood report value. Because once the patient is taking cephalosporin, there is a chance of antibody mediated red blood cells destruction. So there is a chance of anemia. So the nurse should monitor drug induced hemolytic anemia. Move on to the next question. Which gas is commonly used in laparoscopic surgery? Options. Option A. Nitrogen. Option B. Oxygen. Option C. Carbon dioxide. Option D. Hydrogen. The gas which is used in laparoscopic surgery is carbon dioxide. Option C is the correct answer. Move on to the next question. A client with pernicious anemia is receiving vitamin B12. The nurse should evaluate the client for which expected outcome of vitamin B12. Here the question is a patient is getting vitamin B12 injection for pernicious anemia treatment. Pernicious anemia means it occurs due to the deficiency of vitamin B12. So the patient is receiving or getting vitamin B12. The question is nurses should evaluate or further assess the client for which expected outcome of this vitamin B12. Here we can see pernicious anemia is caused by lack of vitamin B12. As I already told because of vitamin B12 the deficiency causes pernicious anemia. The primary symptoms include neuropathy with paresthesia of hand and feet. Paresthesia means numbness. Numbness of the hand and feet are the primary symptoms of this vitamin B12 deficiency. The nurse assesses the client to determine the effectiveness of monthly dose of vitamin B12 and to evaluate the care of the patient. Okay, so here the correct answer will come. Absence of paresthesia. Okay, paresthesia or numbness. Option C is the correct answer. Once the therapy is effective means the numbness or paresthesia will reduce or decrease. Okay, that is the expected outcome of vitamin B12. And the next question is, what is the common nutritional problem associated with Associated in child with Down syndrome. Options. Option A. Obesity. Option B. Anemia. Option C. Rickets. Option D. All of this. So in case of Down syndrome, the child will be obese. So the child will get obesity. Option A is the correct answer. And the next question is, which is the last sign of heart failure in infant and children? Options. Option A. Tachypnea. Option B. Peripheral edema. Option C. Tachycardia. Option D. Periorbital edema. Our question is among this option which one is the last sign of heart failure in infant and children and it is peripheral edema option B is the correct answer why because due to heart failure the blood flow to the kidney will decrease which causes sodium reabsorption resulting in peripheral edema.
So the correct answer is option B. And the next question is the World Health Day is celebrated on options option A March 7, option B April 7, option C May 7, option D June 7. World Health Day is observed on April 7. Option B is the correct answer. Special dates and years are also very important questions while studying once you go through that area. That's why I included questions from this area. And the next question is World Tuberculosis Day is celebrated on options option A March 24th, option B November 23rd, option C April 24th, option D September 23rd. World Tuberculosis Day is observed on March 24th. Option A is the correct answer. Sir. The next question World Mental Health Day is celebrated on or options option A October 20th, option B October 10th, option C September 20th, option D September 10th. World Mental Health Day is celebrated on October 10th. Option B is the correct answer. And the next question is World Hepatitis Day is celebrated on. Options Option A June 8th, Option B June 28th, Option C July 8th, Option D July 28th. World Hepatitis Day is celebrated on July 28th. Option D is the correct answer. And the next question is, which type of food decreases the absorption of levodopa? Options, option A, high protein, option B, high fat, option C, low protein, option D, low fat. Levodopa is the drug of choice for Parkinson's disease. Okay, it is the precursor of dopamine. So, our question, which type of food decreases the absorption of levodopa? It is option A, high protein. High protein diet will decrease the absorption of levodopa. Friends, here also we discussed important and previous year questions. If it is useful for your studies, don't forget to share my videos to your friend circle. And we will discuss next set of questions in the next video.